Hello and welcome. My name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. I'd like to offer you some charts today. And the first one I'd like to look at is the euro against the dollar. A bearish harami yesterday, but with a twist. It can also be seen as an indecisive spinning top. Actually, I believe the two patterns are, however unlikely, related as the market rose up to the recent 50% Fibonacci line at 119 and three quarters and rejected it, but then seemingly was not sure about the rejection. Below, we still have the two day pipe bottom over the weekend off of the June 2018 high at 118.51 and the continuation trend line from the old December 2019 to May 2020 lower diamond uptrend line currently at 118.36. We also have two lesser Fibonacci levels at 118.87 and 118.97. Overhead, we have some free air. Until the recent 50% Fibonacci line, as I say, at 119 and three quarters. Then above that, the flatlining long moving average, currently at 119.99. Now, so far today, nothing really. We're either side of yesterday's close and looking like an the indecision still continues, actually. The next chart I'd like to look at is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A third bullish white soldier yesterday, but really it was an indecisive spinning top. Nevertheless, it was interesting as the market opened on the gently rising medium moving average, currently at 139.49, and made a sterling effort to try and take on the lower time, currently 140.13, of the hugely significant, if a broken, June to September 2020 bullish shift pitchfork. It failed to make it. Not because of just the lower tone on its own, no, it was because the lower tone had backup in the form of the coincident rising short medium move, moving average resistance currently at 140.14 and the previously highlighted congestion at 139.99. This was too much for the market yesterday, but it left the door open for another try as the market closed over the medium moving average. All this continues to hinder an idea I've put forward recently of a possible very large Adam and Eve type double top formed over this year. So far today, well, not much. The market continues to sit on top of the gently rising medium moving average. We'll just have to see if there will be any more attempts higher later on. The next chart to look at is Euro against Sterling. A bearish engulfing pattern yesterday as the market pushed down through and closed below the support formed of the extension of the flat trend line from the March based descending triangle at 85.45. This is also further evidence of the primacy of the recent bear channel, currently 85.28 to 86.17. How it was taken over from the earlier bearish roof stroke half diamond pattern indeed. This morphing act does not negate target X as a downside target for the roof stroke half diamond pattern in the 85 and a quarter area. Instead, it supplements it. I'm just in two minds as to whether a move down yesterday to 85.28, only three ticks away from target X, could be called as having been achieved. Ah, that's my problem. So far today, not much. An initial move higher was quickly extinguished as prices stay close to the lower bull channel line and below yesterday's close, if only just. The next chart to look at is US dollar against the Indian rupee. A combined bearish dark cloud cover pattern and bearish double yesterday as the limiting force of the 7440 level on top still resonates as resistance. The market dropped back and closed below the interesting 50% Fibonacci line, the February to April 2020 move at 74.26, which had recently capped the market. It is at this point that I wish to once again remind you, dear viewers and listeners, that I mentioned three weeks ago and every subsequent day since that a pullback up from the big four between April and May could see a move as high as the 74.40 area and still keep the bearish incentive. Please note the 74.40 area is not, repeat, not a target. No, it is a limit to the move higher, if and only if the market wishes to still keep the bearish incentive. So it's not like you haven't been warned in recent days. So far today, a higher open, but the market seems once again to be capped by that 50% Fibonacci line at 74.26, and looking like a small indecisive spinning top right now. Well, that about wraps up. So in the meantime, stay safe in the markets and in real life.